Welcome back to Talk of Alabama. We're in the Mazer kitchen this morning with Miss Rebecca Gordon from Buttermilk Lipstick, and we're making some pancakes, which is perfect for any day of the week. Welcome back to you. That's right. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. Of course. So yes. this is something, hence the name, Buttermilk. We've oh got God. buttermilk in the pancakes, right? That's right. We have buttermilk in the pancakes. And buttermilk pancakes are a popular item for families. Okay. It's a great weekend meal. You can also make them ahead and reheat them during the week. So we yes. have lots of options. But I just want to talk today about going back to the basics. What okay. I'm focusing on at Buttermilk Lipstick right now is cooking and basic uh, cooking and baking fundamentals. So come okay. see me um, at face. Follow me on Facebook. Come see me at Buttermilk Lipstick. I have lots of photos and tutorials on how to do this particular recipe and everything else you see on the website. So if you have cooking questions, come and see me for that. Okay. So what I want to do is start by making our batter, and it's really okay. simple to do. I've got one and a half cups of buttermilk in the mixing or in the measuring cup here. Okay. And I'm just going to stir one lightly beaten egg into that. Okay. And then we're adding a little vanilla for some flavoring okay. and I like to add just a little bit of orange zest to this. Okay. Now I know you and I were talking about earlier about just flavoring pancakes yes. and the different things that you can do with that. You can use this as a baseline recipe and, and we can flavor it with some of the things you were talking about earlier. Okay, got you. So I've got one cup of flour in the bowl here. I've got a little baking powder. This is about one teaspoon a little baking soda going in, okay. a little sugar, and sugar is a browning agent, so you'll okay. get a nice um, crisp little outside to that. And then we've got, we had some salt that went in there too. Now the thing I like about making your own pancake baseline yes. mix is that you A, already have these ingredients probably in your pantry, okay. and you can control the salt level. Oh, a lot okay. of mixes have a lot of salt in them, and I'm using buttermilk, so I want to make sure that there aren't any off flavors, um, and that can sometimes happen with a reaction to baking powder, which are in oh. a lot of mixes. So I do a combination of baking soda and baking powder in mine. Okay, got you. And the main thing, once you um, marry these ingredients together in the bowl, you don't want to overmix the batter. Okay, why? So, because it might result in a tough pancake because you might overwork the gluten. Gluten is in flour, it's the protein in flour. If you mix it too much, which it's great for a yeast bread to okay. mix that gluten, but for something delicate like a pancake or a um, biscuit or something of that nature, yes. you don't want to overmix it. Oh, so I once, never knew. Oh, really? Oh, okay, well, good, good to know. Learning, and you can <laughs> see that at buttermilklipstick.com, <laughs> and I've got that information there too. Now, I'm using a griddle today. Okay. So, um, I have preheated this um, ahead of time. It's about okay. 350 degrees. If you feel like it's getting a little too hot and your pancakes are browning too much, just turn the heat down on the dial slightly. Okay. And I'm putting some butter right over the surface. Okay, I like I a lot you. of butter. And that's going to give a nice um, flavor to the outside of the pancakes as well as they cook. Now, should you use butter? Or I know some people use, what is that other it's like a butter, but it's in a big tub. What is that called? I don't know. Crisco. Because, oh no, we want to use well, we want to use butter because you're going to get the flavor from that. Okay. On the pancake, so you really want that nice flavor. I did not put butter inside of the pancake. Okay. So that um, because you're going to have it on the griddle. Okay. And then we're going to also in the next segment make a uh, buttered pecan maple syrup. So you'll have okay. the butter in that also. Now this consistency is kind of thick. Is that the consistency we're going for when you, it comes to making a pancake? You can. If you like a thinner pancake, you can certainly add a, a smidgen more buttermilk to that. Okay. It's not a problem. Gotcha. Um, this is a very versatile recipe and like you were talking about, you could add uh, the blueberries in the top of this like once okay. they go on the grate or on the griddle. Okay. Um, or you could add some uh, toasted pecans or some bananas like you were talking about. You said your kids love pancakes. Yes, they love them. I make them on Saturdays um, and I do freeze them. I put them in, in Ziploc or Tupperware containers and I freeze them and then throughout the week it's an easy quick breakfast. It really is. That is a great way to do it and you can, what, do you put them in the microwave just to mm -hmm. warm just them up? Just for a second. Yeah, it just doesn't take very long. That's the great thing. A lot of the things I'm focusing on at Buttermint Lipstick right now, you can make them. Uh, we're going to do waffles later in the week. We're going to talk okay. about some yeast spreads and like 
fun ways to make toast. Oh, okay. And those things can be frozen and popped into the toaster later on during the week as Let well. Let me tell you, I had some avocado toast, which I've never had. I was at the, my husband and I over Christmas break went to Pizzit's Food Hall. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we went to uh, Roots and Revelry for brunch one day. And I mm -hmm. had this avocado toast, so it was like spread yes. avocado over uh, kind of a sourdough I mm -hmm. believe and it had okay. fresh cilantro on it and it was so good. Oh it sounds fabulous. So we can incorporate healthy indoor eating as well. Absolutely I think health is is the main point for a lot of people right now with yeah. it being the first of the year so you know there again if, if you are trying to cut those calories you could do a low-fat buttermilk you know in the pancake recipe okay or you could um, maybe cut back on the butter in the syrup we're going to do a little bit later on so you have options there. Now at this temperature around 350 how long does it take to cook? Okay, these are going to take about two to three minutes and the main point about making a pancake is you're looking for the surface of the pancake to have bubbles all over the top of okay. it. Okay. And then you also want um, a, a slight skin to form when you're ready to flip them. That's sort of your cue that it's time to flip them to the other side and then you won't have issues with the batter sort of running out Going. onto the rest of the griddle. Okay, got you. When yeah. we come back, what are we going to be doing? Okay, we're going to be making our um, butter pecan maple syrup and it's okay. super easy to do. Homemade syrup. It's not homemade syrup, it's a, it's a flavored syrup. Oh, okay. Flavored syrup. <laughs> We're not tapping the trees. <laughs> but we could. Okay, Rebecca, go check her out at Buttermilk Lipstick in the commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We've got details on a local comedy play that's kicking off this weekend. You're watching TOA. Stay with us.